Hey guys, welcome back to my Planet Zoo speed build series. Today we'll be building closure for the brand new Siamung. Uh, Siamung? I think it's Siamung. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'll probably watch one of those weird pronunciation guides. <laughs> but with no further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? <laughs> So for this, I'm trying something a little bit new. I think in the speed builds, I might um, just, while playing the game, just get rid of the music sound so I can play the animal audios because there is the new animal chorus um, feature and I think it's kind of weird because sometimes in the video you can see the animal make sound and it doesn't make any sound. So just fix it a little bit. So here we are, I'm filling in the space behind where the, um, what was it, gondola starts, I'm making it bigger, because I kind of thought it was a little bit too small, it wasn't the right size, there's a lot of resizing in this, so yeah, the Siamon, Siamon, I watched the video, I am very confused, they were all like bots, none of them was a real person. Why are the audio learn to pronounce YouTube videos so weird? Um, so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, tell me below in the comments. I'm gonna go with Siamang. Like, that sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. I just, I just, I, I just don't know. <laughs> Please help. Um, something. I will find out a bit of a bit of advice, a little a little madame tip for you, for everyone who likes building closures. If you want to use the new um, swinging, the new uh, climbing arrangement, make sure you put that down before you um, like put the fencing down because they are really big. You will need it. They're really really big. Trust me. Like I didn't. I thought they wouldn't be so big. Um, and I already built like the enclosure and I was like, oh, I don't want to redo it. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Probably should be smart for any new piece that you're not familiar with. Put it down just so you know how big it is and then build the enclosure around it. I'm hindsight 2020, am I right? <laughs> so yeah, little bit of terrain painting because this, again, this is going to be fairly flat. They're monkeys. A lot of their terrain... Uh, height changing will be through the climbing enrichment which actually I will admit I did forget there was new um, enrichment for them <laughs> I don't are they the only ones who can root the enrichment? yeah I put the thingies that that moves that moves it moves don't worry just ignore it. how this is set up at the moment changes oh oh pardon me yeah, look, it's I didn't expect it to be so big. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. There was nowhere I was going nicely. And I'm like, I'm going to need to move that. Include the, the sleeping bit. Yeah. So they are really big. Didn't expect them to be as big as they are. Like, because usually all like the climbing enrichments are fairly big small unless it's for the bee animals which makes sense and I'm like oh you know just be like fairly similar to the normal monkey stuff it's not not that lesson um, I think I should have just made this enclosure just a lot bigger honestly like I should have I should have just really made it big but I was thinking oh nice small underneath the gondola just put it there i was trying to see if i could put the big one in no they get the small one <laughs> and this is where i go maybe i should just move that there we go bam right there and then i'm trying to figure out do i put it and i was like how I don't think I will ever, I, I usually don't make climbing stuff, but I don't think I will ever make my own of the new climbing stuff because it looks very, very confusing. <laughs> it's also very funny to watch, but we'll see. I mean, you saw a little bit in the beginning. Um, again, trying to put down some stuff. Uh, there was not a lot of space. I, sh I should have made it bigger. 
but you know, again, hindsight 2020. Always got to put down the keyboard. Monkey keyboard. 10 out of 10. I love the monkey keyboard. Any animal that has the keyboard and plays the keyboard, I love it. <laughs> you just, it's always confusing when you're playing in the game because you're just, you're just, you're just trotting along and then all of a sudden, dun, 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 monkey play keyboard. I love it. <laughs> Food enrichment, putting some enrichment down. Uh, it's very finicky. I try and put a little bit of down the climbing enrichment because I know they're like height and there isn't a lot of space. But I thought, oh, I can use them. And also trees count. You, that's one thing you need to remember. Trees do count a little bit to the amount of climbing space they have. Um, Siam, Siamang, Siamang. Uh, I'm just gonna call it the monkey from now on. The monkey um, lives in a family group, so I just got two, and then they can have babies. Again, you know, sometimes it is good to give them a little bit of extra space. Just trying to put trees down, trying to figure it out because. It was, this is a really weird setup. I don't, I think it turned out okay, actually. I won't, I won't put, put it down. I won't put it down. So yeah, just trying to figure it out because I know they like trees. So I'm putting down trees. Um, and I do know that'll help with the climbing because they can climb some trees. I don't think all trees count. Or at least some animals sand can climb trees. I'm not exactly sure how the climbing like height thing is registered. I'm 90% sure some animals can climb some trees. I kept the time going so I can have them in the enclosure because I forgot to build the fence. So I can have them in the enclosure because they're new. I'm not exactly sure how much forest and stuff they want. Which is, yeah, it's fair. Again, gotta unpause it and then unselect. It's sometimes the move mechanic is really annoying. I also think, oh, pardon me. I also think I was building this one uh, fairly late at night. So I wasn't in. Didn't have the uh, best thinking when doing some of this. But I still think it turned out pretty nice. Again, those bushes. You heard it in the casseries? Just fill up space. The stinky plant. I'm pretty sure that's the stinky plant. That smells really bad. Stinky plant. If it's not, I like to think it is. I think most of the plants that I think they are um, aren't actually the plant I'm thinking of, but I refuse to think they're anything else. And if you, even if you tell me, I will not agree. I, feel, I always forget it's going to yell at me for not having it in a place. I also need to put those in so they can actually get repaired. Um, something I forget to do is put things into places. Uh, but I typically have like a mechanic working around my work zone. Work zones are confusing. Uh, if you know them, you're a genius. Uh, again, put in, put it down, put it around, putting bamboo, just trying to fill up the area, making it look jungly oh, pardon me i did a little up sorry about that i'm trying to make it look oh yawn just trying to make it look nice i do like the uh i want to say lipstick palm i really like the colors and i think it's really nice i don't know if it's called the lipstick palm i'm gonna call it the lipstick palm from now on unless i actually pay attention to what they're called no cassaries, you had your episode. Yeah, um, the cassari grew up. So you can kind of tell the timeline that I'm in. <laughs> Putting down a lot of stuff to just get rid of the long grass. I find long grass can sometimes be really annoying trying to figure out where it is, where it isn't. Because it still counts as a long grass patch even if there's no long grass, which confuses it for short grass, which is really annoying. But I try and get it down as much as possible. I used to go for like the 100% terrain and stuff. Now I'm I'm a lot more lenient with myself because I would just spend like 30 minutes looking for the six patches of long grass that is now short grass 
but it's also underneath like soil but I didn't like a hundred percent terrain paint it so it's still like a tiny bit of long grass that you need to be worried about ah and with that we'll just go around yeah I think I'm getting a lot more chaotic in these recording as things go on it's getting a lot more of my personality um this is just showing off how the enclosure looks and then we'll just follow around the monkeys I think um, again, if you like them cut, leave a comment. If you don't like them cut, leave a comment. Just, I do what I like. Um, I do not like how the monkey that I cannot pronounce walks. Terrifying. Oh my god. I think I spent a lot of this recording going like, it's a man. I don't like how it walks. That's scary. Again, I'm going to try this where you can kind of hear like the animal sound and maybe the music in the background a little bit. Uh, tell me if you like it or not. I think I'll fine tune it a bit so there isn't the Planet Zoo music. Yeah. Terrifying. My lord. The only reason why I'm not cutting it because I said before that I'm not cutting it. And I'm like, again, walk in. My god, I lost track because I'm just looking at it as as at him walk while I record this. He's just chilling. Oh, he was trying to hope the best I can. Oh my god, the climbing so funny. <laughs> I was trying my best to hope that one of them would do the new um, swinging enrichment. Stand. Don't like how they stand. <laughs> it's like humans, but with really, really long arms. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if you do really like this monkey. Like, like I'm not hating on it. Oh my god. <laughs> I like it. I think the one's really good. It's terrifying. Also, he glitches. <laughs> But yes, he got up, he got up, he will swing the new swinging. I really do like this. Like, the long arms make sense because they swing. It just looks terrifying when they're walking. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that anyone who's watching this who really likes this monkey, if you do, please tell me how to pronounce its names. The internet was not helping me. I think I got even more confused. Yeah, he's still swinging his so ears. Uh, please tell me how it's pronounced. Uh, like, not dissing on your favorite monkey or ape. Technically, it's not a monkey. I should stop calling it a monkey. I am aware it's not a monkey. I just call anything monkey. Yes, go monkey. <laughs> but yeah, I just. It's the uncanny valley of him walking. It's, I find it unsettling. <laughs> but it's also interesting. I don't know, I'm oddly fascinated and terrified. I think if I was ever just in the wild and I saw one of these walking towards me, I'd run. Not just because it's an ape and I am terrified of running into a prime ape or anything similar in the wild, because prime apes are scary. Just, they're just little, little primate humans. Okay, yes, humans are primates, I'm aware, but, mmm, scary. <laughs> and with that, thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, this walk, terrifying. But feel free to check out the links in the description. It'll show you my Twitter. I'm moving the camera so much. Show you my Twitter uh, and all the credit for the music used as background music. Um... If you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, again, please tell if you know how to pronounce the Saima Sung's name properly. Please tell me in the comment if you'd like to see more of these series and maybe me butcher more animal names. Please subscribe. And with that, I'll see you all later. Bye bye now.